Hello Channel Need viewers, I am DS, your psychologist and welcome to another episode on Channel Need. If you are a young ENTJ pondering over what you should pursue as a university discipline, you can definitely consider psychology as one of your choices. As an ENTJ, I took psychology as my university discipline and I did very well in it. And looking back, I attribute TE, which is my dominant function, for why I did well in psychology. So currently, I am a psychology lecturer and I've been telling some of my students, the closer ones, that in order for you to do well in psychology, you have to train your TE. You have to train your TE to become sharper because TE is essential for you to do well in psychology. So basically, MBTI is about cognitive functions and there are two thinking functions when we talk about the MBTI. TE, extroverted thinking, and TI, introverted thinking. So in the MBTI, these are the TE users and these are the TI users. So all the other MBTI types prefer to use feelings as either their dominant or auxiliary function, which is the first and second function. So as a general rule, TI is rather narrow in its thinking, so they are more suited to hard sciences. Psychology, however, is a human science. It's a social science. So when we're talking about human, there is no definitive. So TE is very good in thinking from all different points of view, thinking from a lot of different angles. So this is why if you have TE, and especially when you are TE dom, you probably can do well in psychology. Nonetheless, this does not mean that if you are not a TE user, you will never do well in psychology. Of course, there are other MBTI types that can also do well in psychology. As a lecturer, I've been marking a lot of scripts. I realized that ESFJs, they can actually do well in psychology, but they are merely regurgitating. There's no processing. There's no thinking from multiple points of view. As you go higher and higher, it is less and less possible for you to just throw out whatever that you know based on memory. So still, TE is a very powerful weapon. So now, how do you train your TE to become even better? So in this episode, I'm going to talk about how you can train your TE to become even better. So for the other MBTI types that do not predominantly use TE, I'm also going to tell you how you can train your TE to become more powerful, especially if you are a psychology learner, so that you can do better in psychology. The first way to do it is to start training yourself to think from multiple angles. So let's start with a hypothetical question. Let's say the question that we are asking is, are families essential? Of course, our ministry is not going to like this question because their definite answer is going to be yes. But from a psychology point of view, this is a valid exam question. So if you were to answer, are families necessary? How are you going to answer it? So in this case, I would imagine that many students will immediately jump into this question and answer the question from a very stereotypical point of view, a very traditional point of view. But you need not be very unconventional and talk about very alternative families. You can actually approach this question from a lot of different points of view. First track, think about families that are traditional but could be dysfunctional. Is it good for the children to be in this type of family? So in this case, think about indulgent parents and negligent parents. The children have parents. However, are these children better off without such parents? So this is something that you can write about in the examination if such a question comes out. Alternatively, you can think about abusive parents. Some parents could be very abusive. There could be alcoholic fathers who beat up their children and beat up the wives. While it is very tempting for most students to come in and jump in to the question writing about different parenting styles and why parenting is necessary, sometimes you may want to pause and think from a lot of alternative angles why the question was asked in the first place. If it was so straightforward, why did the examiner ask this question? So this is a time where TE comes into play. So you must start to become more careful think from a lot of different points of view. Now let's look at this question from another angle. There are definitely children who are orphans. 
So in a very technical way, these children do not exactly have a family as we know of the word family. So take note, even if a uh, so take note, even if the family unit only consists of one mother as a single parent family, it is still a family. So do not be confused over things like, oh, a family must have a father and a mother and a child, at least. So it could come in a lot of different forms. The question is, are families necessary? So it is good for you to now think from another point of view, are there people without families but can still function very well, they are still resilient? So as an ENTJ, I don't usually plan my answers. So as I start writing, all these thoughts will come flowing in and I will just continue to pen them down into a very smooth essay. Even though I seem to be very incoherent when I am speaking in front of the camera, actually I can write very well. So I hope that you understand what I mean by the ability to think from multiple different angles because TE has this ability to look from multiple perspectives. So train yourself by asking yourself a lot of questions like this. So TE is not only about thinking about the pros and cons. This is a very superficial way of looking at TE. It's the ability to stand outside the picture and look into the picture. So the second thing that can help you to master TE is to be able to be very objective. So think of it as you are going for a debate. So team A and team B, they are given a motion. Now, the motion could be very controversial, like euthanasia, should it be supported? Let's say, to start off with, you don't support euthanasia. So now, unfortunately, due to the throw of the die, your team is now assigned to become pro-euthanasia. What do you do? If your TE is intact, you will do it nonetheless, because you have to be objective. You may not like a particular subject, but if you are assigned to do it, you do it professionally. So this is about being objective. So if you say, I don't want to do it, can we change topic, you know, that kind of thing, then your TE is not going to be ever sharpened because you will never see from other points of view because you are closed. <laughs> Third thing that can help you in your TE is always think backwards. Think from multiple directions, including backwards. So just now we didn't mention, think about why the examiner even asked this question. What is he thinking about? predict what he is thinking about as the question is asked. So I must admit that at the diploma level at which I teach, the questions are basically very straightforward. I want to say shallow, but straightforward. But as you go into the degree level, more thinking is required. This is why I think that a lot of people might not do as well in psychology if they continue to do what they are doing at the diploma level because they don't think. A fourth way to help sharpen your TE is to understand the significance of arbitraries. So what do I mean by arbitraries? So take for example, in Singapore, we have this one meter social distance rule, right? So they say one meter. Why is it one meter, not 1.1 meter, 1.05 meter? What if it's 95 cm? Do, does it mean that you will get the virus, you know? You must understand that one meter is an arbitrary number that has been proposed because it's convenient, everybody understands one meter well. So why is the stay at home notice 14 days instead of like 16 days, 12 days? Of course, you can say that the WHO proposed this, but is there a significance behind it? The significance is that it is convenient and everybody can follow this because everybody can understand that 14 days is two weeks. So to make things easy, people who are vaccinated can go into restaurants. So there are some people who are not vaccinated, they are very upset because they think that they are discriminated against. It was never about you, please. So a lot of people always think from my point of view. You think about the global point of view, the national point of view. Because this is necessary, because without these arbitraries, we cannot move further for the progression of the community and the progression of the nation. You may not like it, just be objective and professional about it. Sometimes I don't like some of the rules, but understand that it's necessary. So if that is what you can master in the end, your TE will definitely improve, regardless of where it is in the cognitive stack. Could be the seven or eight function, no matter because TE can actually be mastered. You can pause yourself and think. 
sometimes it is very difficult to use TE immediately. There are a lot of movies that make use of you trying to think along one line and at the end of it, they give you a twist, right? Then you will be shocked because you didn't think from that point of view because you're always misled to think from one point of view. So if you were watching a movie at home, you pause, it gives you some time to think of a lot of different possibilities. So unfortunately at the cinema, you were just led along, there is no time to use your brain to process. TE is a function that requires some time to process information. So it does not come naturally, you do have to practice it. Especially if you are not a TE DOM or a TE auxiliary user. So to recap, the four ways I have introduced for you to help sharpen your own TE is Number one, think from many different points of view when approaching a question, any question. So do not think from your own point of view. Let me give you a very short story at this point. Eh? So there was this lady who told me that she by chance met one of her ex dates. She had considered him but in the end she did not choose him. So what about this man? She mentioned that he has become very run down, very pessimistic, very negative. But she didn't remember him like that. And she said, luckily I didn't choose him. So I wanted to tell her this, but I did not. Okay, I just held myself back. Now I will say, have you ever wondered, lady, that he became like that because you didn't choose him? So TI is very simple, it's very self-serving. It's always thinking from my personal point of view. I'm so happy I never choose him. Did you ever think from other points of view? Always in your life, you can exercise TE by thinking from a lot of points of view. It does not even need to be a psychology exam question. It is a life question. So the second thing is, in order to strengthen your TE, be objective. Always be neutral. Regardless of whether you like the thing, be professional. That will help in your TE. So the third method is, think backwards. Think from other people's point of view. Think why they want to ask such a question. Think why they want to say such a thing. Think from other people's point of view. So it's quite similar to the first one, it's just that this one could be more human driven. The fourth way recommended in this video to help train your TA is think of arbitraries as just very convenient benchmarks. Don't take them personally. So if you're able to stand out of the picture and see things from the outside point of view, your TE is definitely going to improve a lot and that will help you in your endeavors. So it need not be psychology, TE definitely will going to help you much in your life. Be a more stable person. So viewers, I hope that you have learned something from this episode. If you have not subscribed, do consider subscribing so that we can bring you more ENTJ, MBTI and psychology. And hopefully you can get to improve a little bit of your TE because that will improve your psychology and definitely improve your life. Okay, I'm going to sign off now and see you in my next episode. Bye-bye.